<laughs> Who doesn't love playing in a sandbox? Welcome friends, Aubranium here. After reading the Three Body Problem book series, I found myself with many questions. As an aerospace engineer and avid gamer, I did what feels natural. I opened up Universe Sandbox and started playing around. First, I tried a simple planar triangle of three identical copies of our star. This led to a supernova, which is extra boring. Eventually, I tried making the orbits a little more realistic by forcing one of the stars to start out of the orbital plane of the other two stars. I mean, it's technically a, still a plane, but somehow the game thinks it's a starting plane. So we're trying to avoid getting stuck in a two-dimensional space. But this mostly ejects one of the stars out to form a stable binary system. Yawn. It wasn't until I started changing the relative masses of the stars when I really started to see interesting results. With this new scenario of three different masses, I see a remarkable result. The system appears to be in a chaotic bistable equilibrium. Two of the stars orbit each other tightly in a binary configuration, while the third drifts away. When it returns, the third swaps dance partners with one of the stars in the binary pairing, leaving the traded star to drift itself away. This cosmic juggling is not a certainty, but represents merely one of many chaotic behaviors. In terms of habitability, none of my tests yielded a habitable region capable of remaining stable long enough to retain an Earth-like planet. This is far from strong evidence, but I think it's safe to say we won't be hearing from aliens from Trisolaris anytime soon. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, and now go play in the dirt. <laughs> You'll be glad you did.